Hey, um, I've ever told you guys my life story before. Oh, okay, so touch Toronto. Yeah. Toronto. I don't know if right. we have May oh. 1970. Well, it's weird. Over here, I'm getting the red light for you. Oh, that's so enough. Just they just want to start? <laughs> yeah. Welcome to Smartless. Smart. Hi, JB. Hi, you guys. And now, so this is your new relaxed zone. JB's in Brooklyn. This is how I picture it. Now, JB's now in New York mm -hmm. uh, for a little, for a stretch. And mm -hmm. I pictured you going there Saturday. And I asked you, because I was like, I know what you're, just hear me out. You get to your spot, you drop your stuff, and then you find the spot on the couch yeah. where you're <laughs> perpendic to the TV. <laughs> That is so true. Yeah, but I already scouted that though when I, I had to pick pick the apartment. I had to make sure there was a an L type configuration sure. in front of the TV. Sure. Rest of the apartment, I, sure. I don't care about. It I doesn't just matter. Need to know I've got a nesting spot. Are you happy with the apartment? I am. Um, yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, I'm very I'm very happy. But you know, it's it's uh, you know I'm a, I'm a soft guy. I'm I'm prone to homesickness. You know, it's yeah. it's lonely. You know, I mean, I live with. Uh, three incredible women and now I'm all alone and but what did I have to sort of buoy my spirits a pair of brand new slippers the oh, waiting for me oh. in the apartment from yeah. sweet sweet Shawnee yeah How is that, that true Shawnee yes I yeah, got I Willie mean, uh, something for his ankles and I got Jason you did I mean it's yeah what, what did you did you get him some running weights for his ankle? No. no, he got me. <laughs> he right. got me that. He got me that thing to stretch my calves oh, because I've been right, having right, my right. hamstring issue. But, and I sent you slippers because but, but I Shani, know that. Uh, this, as I said I in the text, you're not supposed to be well raised. I know I'm not neither well of us raised. Are. We were kind of raised by wolves. And... But I think that's probably why, right? Yeah. Um, but isn't it true though? Like, because I was thinking about you being alone there, and I was like, isn't it nice to have just something soft? Like that or whatever it is, like slip. I texted you like slippers to me make a home. Yeah. Like once you have slippers, then you feel like you're like or an L shaped couch in front of or an L shaped couch. Yeah. Shut up! Come every time you say it's nice to have something soft, you seem to grab onto your belly and you just give it a <laughs> oh, nice. Oh, the cookie! I couldn't pouch. mail my belly. <laughs> the cookie pouch. <laughs> <laughs> cookie pouch. Oh, I miss it. Um, How are you guys doing? What's good. going on back home? So listen, my thing is. Yeah. So listen. I think I tell. Well, I will FaceTime me, and I answered it from the ER, right? And not, not, not just that. We had been taught. I had seen him for lunch. Yeah. Okay. We had a, we had this lunch him. meeting with the with and JB. You would have you would have been there, but you were traveling. But so we had this lunch meeting. I don't know. Ninety minutes later, I I FaceTime Sean to ask him something, and <laughs> he's, he's in the on back a, of an ambulance. No, dude, he's on a gurney. <laughs> he's on a gurney in the hall at Cedars. Yeah, Angel, yeah. what happened? And I go, what the fuck is going <laughs> <Angel>. on? <laughs> no. Um, yeah, no, I got the AFib thing again, and and you guys know. And uh, they just, <clears throat> I talked about it on the tour. They And that's where Jimmy Kimmel gave me the nickname of Paddles. So I texted Jimmy, <laughs> and I said, Paddles is at it again. And I took a picture, and I texted it to Jimmy of me in my gown, all hooked up to the wires. And uh, yeah, I just had AFib, and so they put me out. They pound, they zap my heart. So, so for 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 the for the for the, the medical Tracys out there, AFib yeah. is what? It's just an irregular heartbeat. Yeah, it's atrial fibrillation. So it's just, some people are in it all the time, and they don't know it. I know when I get it, which is a good thing because then I can go to the ER. But here's the worst part, or the best yeah, your, part. Yeah, your heart just raised. Here's the best part. So we're at this lunch again, business lunch. Oh, the guy yeah, says, yeah. "You guys want anything? You guys want anything at the? He's gonna bring the check. You guys want anything? You want a coffee or something?" He said, "I'll take a coffee." Our buddy Rick is there. Rick K. Rick says, "I'll take a coffee too," and Sean says, "As the guy's walking around, walking away, I'll take a milkshake." Oh, God. <laughs> he goes, it's noon, he goes, right? You can't have yeah, dessert yeah, for noon. lunch. It's noon, and he goes, he goes, Rick, he goes, just, just, by the way, just vanilla, just vanilla. Oh. And I said, and I said, and if you've got any paddles, bring him to the table. <laughs> Oh Isn't no! That weird? Oh my God! I forgot you said that. So ninety minutes That's later, weird. he's in the hallway at fucking Cedars and fucking on a gurney, and I'm like, oh fuck. Those gowns are if beautiful. He, though. If he goes down from this today, and I've suggested the paddles, I'm really gonna feel badly for a couple weeks. <laughs> so, 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 so you get into the 
okay, so the, you feel the heart is racing. I, I should that. get to an emergency room yeah, because yeah. things might unravel from from here. Like it does, it doesn't fix itself. You need to go in there, and you 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 literally need to get like a jump start to yeah, get it. That's, off. Yeah. that's like restarting a car or something. Yeah. So they just said, but they put you out, which is great. And of course, I always try to think of something. F oh, by the way, I read the thing. Wait, this can, we'll cut out this air that it takes me to find this. This is worth it. This is okay. great. We can have some music. We can play yeah, some music. Sorry, now. mystery guest. Just hang wait, on. One Sean's second. got props. Sean's got some no way. stuff that he wants to so look I up. So said, I said, she starts going, she starts going, because this is what they do every Who's time. Because I've been uh, the, the, the doctor in the ER. This is what she's, this is what they do. Because I've been, I've been cardioversion, right? It's called cardioversion. And I've had this done, done to me like 15 times. So she starts gathering the, the anesthesiologist, two nurses, her, somebody else, I don't know. There was like five or six people there. And they go, they stand around the bed right before the procedure and they have to announce all this stuff. Sure. And as she's getting into it, I say, do you mind if I take over? And she goes, sure. I go, okay, everyone, the patient's name is Sean Hayes. Date of birth is 62670. We're treating him today for atrial fibrillation. We're gonna use 10 milligrams of Atomidate and we're gonna attempt cardioversion. Everybody okay? And she goes, she's like, what? Nobody's ever done that. She goes, yeah, we're, now we're ready. So I, that's how often I've had this done. This oh is, my God, God, you will do anything for so applause. what about, what about, <laughs> is, is, what about maybe buying your own set of paddles? Oh, that's a great idea. No, I thought about and just it. Just doing like small, why don't you turn in the garage into an ER? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or just a section of it near the near the washer dryer, where maybe mm -hmm. Scotty can just kind of bang you back into rhythm. Yeah, they can teach. They can Robert, teach Scotty. our friend Robert, has paddles at his house, like a whole thing. What truly? Wow. Yeah. All right. Well, so I, I'd love to circle back to, and I'm sorry, guess we're going to get right to you, but <laughs> you know, I'd love to get you to stop drinking ice cream for lunch. I know. <laughs> <laughs> You know, it's, so let's just start to just kind of chip away at the maybe How's the that problem happen? before. He, he, dude, he may, he's got the maker at home now. Now he's got the yeah, ice cream maker. You forget. It doesn't have anything to do with that. It just has, it's because okay. I had a gummy. It's a long conversation. Oh. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't stumble into AFib. If oh. if it was if it was because of the gummies, we'd be talking to JB. Who'd be at fucking? He'd be at New well, York Presbyterian right now. As would as would the entire country. Yeah. Um, yeah, now yeah. that it's all legal and people are you know. But if you're enjoying. prone to it, like I am, then it's like a. Listen, trigger. I don't yeah. want to mention. I don't want to cut in because we don't have a lot of time because it's going to be air so far away from it. But I instead of going there, I went to the All Star game and I coached Connor McDavid oh, yeah. and I was the co captain with Connor McDavid. That's right. Hockey. right. Get and to, I went to Willie's All Star week. Yeah. I just, it's really yeah. quick. I had a hockey nirvana. It was a fucking, it was unbelievable. I finally met Wendell Clark for the first time. I That was, was the first I, time you met him? I so, so Tracy, Wendell Clark is a, is a very, very famous ex-hockey uh, uh, player that yeah. Will is, uh, is is so, such a fan of that your yeah. your avatar on your your texting is. Yes. is uh, I even know who I he didn't, is. I didn't, I didn't tell, even Sean. He, I, gets I tell. he gets golf balls with just the 19 on them because that was Wendell's 17, number. 17. 17. J, JB last year for my birthday very sweetly got uh, Wendell to make me a video and then sent me some signed stuff and I was, that blew me cameo. away. Cameo? Cameo? Uh, not even a cameo. No, no, no. He went and got in touch okay. with him. And it was very sweet. So anyway, he, I saw him in an elevator. I said, I didn't expect that this was how it was going to happen, but I met him in an elevator and it was just unbelievable. And I got, I coached, uh, well, coach, fuck, I just stood there like a dink. No, I, I, they said, what do you want to do, coach? I'm like, who wants to hear from a stupid actor? Uh, what are you talking about? I'm just yeah, here were to... Were you down in like the locker room having to give like a, yeah, a, a I gave a speech. speech. So I gave <gasps> a speech. And so what I did was I so just... who? Who was on your team? Connor McDavid, uh, uh, Leon Dreisaitl, uh, we had uh, David Pasternak from the Bruins. I had wow. Brody Jenner from. Uh, we had we had wow. fucking Connor Hellebuck, the great goalie, the greatest goal in the league right now. And and for a pregame speech, P Peter Laviolette, the Hall of Fame coach, was next to me, and I said, "Let me give the speech." And I put together from a different sport all great quotes I strung together from Jurgen Klopp, <laughs> my guy at Liverpool. <laughs> and I, and I, and I made a speech about it, and it was like, it literally was it was ridiculous. I think they, I lost them at the end when I said, when I first came to Dortmund, and they're like, what? Dortmund? <laughs> yeah. Anyway, it was fantastic. We had a great time, and I don't want to spend too much time. But so cool. Did Wendell Clark so cool. knew who you are? 
Yeah, he he did actually. I, I will say that his and his wife saw that I was like, and she That's she nudged awesome. him because he didn't see me at first. And then it was sick. And then I got to say to my dad, we walked down. I said, and I see Wayne Gretzky. And I said, Wayne, have you ever met my dad? And he's like, no. And my dad was like. It was unbelievable. That's crazy oh, that Wayne Gretzky was that's, the whole that's, weekend. That's the that's the the, yeah. the little guy makes good. He, yeah. he comes back home and it's funny you say that. So the last thing I'll say is so Abel, you know, you guys know my 13 year old. He says to me the other night, he goes, "Look, I'm I'm I, I'm going to check and make sure he's doing his homework." And he goes, "Dad, I'm really proud of you." I said, Aww, and I go, what do you mean? He go, I go, what, what are you talking about? We hadn't been talking about it. He goes, well, probably the little uh, kid version of you didn't think that you'd ever be there at the All-Star game doing what you did. And he goes, I don't wow. know if it's weird for a son to be proud of his dad, but I'm really Dude, proud that's of him. And, that's then that's amazing. That's and then he came cool. up and he gave me a hug and he kissed me on the head. It was so oh, sweet. God, you oh, must have amazing. fucking oh. fallen apart. He's such a sweet kid. And he, I did fall apart. You big softy. That's very yeah. like uh, um, old soul of him to say. Yeah, very old soul. I'm going to cry too, so I'm, I'm going to stop. Um, <laughs> oh, <that's laughs> I love that. Really lucky. Now, they weren't there with you, were they? They couldn't. No, just because of no. school. It was too many days away from school, and, and they're in yeah, yeah. middle school and high school. And, and But you filled them in. Yeah. To, oh, my God. I, I FaceTimed Abe from the bench as the game was yeah. going on. And wow. I just like, I can't hear you. Are but they like, hockey fans, Will? Ish. Not as much because they grew up in California. But, yeah. Anyway, we've taken up so much time yeah. of our guest. And, and our guest doesn't deserve to have me ramble on. But it's pretty uh, awesome, though. I bet you the guest is crying right now. I, no, they need a little time to get it together. I, I don't. I doubt <laughs> you know? it. But I, I don't know. Uh, but this person. That's pretty cool, Will. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, yeah it, was, it, was, it was once in a lifetime. And, and uh, it was extraordinary. And speaking of extraordinary. Oh, you know, nice. I love my segues. Yes, beautiful. We're talking extraordinary talent because our guest, she is an absolutely extraordinary artist, actor, filmmaker. Um, she's been nominated for an Academy Award. Um, she's uh, won two, 22 Critics Awards. Jeez, um, that's it? Oh, yeah, she, Golden Globes, all of it. Uh, uh, she's the first American ever to be awarded a Cesar Award, the uh, you know the French Oscars. Mm -hmm. Yeah, appreciate um, the pronunciation on that. Yeah, thank you. Cesar, oui, Cesar. Cesar. Uh, for uh, one, the, one uh, cigarette. Clouds of sil. Yep. Two coffee. Um, <laughs> take a, take one cigarette. I wait. I, I meet up with my lover. Uh, <laughs> Coffee, uh, and uh, she she's just been in some of the biggest films of all time. Uh, she's been in in one of the hugest franchises ever at a very young age, and and took her through her twenties. I I would imagine. Nice. I can't believe that she's only I think thirty three. It's hard to imagine because she's done so much extraordinary work, and uh, she's about to start. Uh, she's going to be in her new film, which is uh, which is being released. Uh, around the time that we're doing good research, good for I know, you. I know. I'm sure I'm the studio's thrilled right now as you're no, watching the know, day. But <laughs> she's got a great laugh. Yes, we know that much. Laugh. She's dying to appear. I'm here. literally trying to think. She, like, I bet what? she's got the date. Why don't you introduce no, her? They, you no, nut? they gave me the date, and I want to get. But but the trailers look so amazing. Love lies bleeding. It looks so amazing from a24. Anyway, guys, it's Kristen Stewart. Oh, Kristen wow! Stewart. <laughs> Guys, can you believe Kristen this? Kristen Stewart. I what know. are you doing saying yes to this podcast? I know. I know. What a nice what person. A bunch of ding dongs like your us. Publicist. I know. Tortured, sitting through our torture. I know. I know. I'm so sorry to put you through God. that. Um, Hi. Hey. Hi. How's it My going? My heart is pounding now. I don't know if it's like oh, you need paddles. the initial conversation about your shitty heart, but <laughs> mine's not like. <laughs> Mine's pretty shitty. Mine well, because listening shitty. is interesting. You sit around and listen to the podcast, and you forget you have to go on it because it's like fun to listen to you guys. And then you're like, "Oh no, this yeah. is it's not that great." Time. It only no. gets great when the guest comes yeah, on. Hello, and welcome. Now. Yeah, welcome, Kristen Stewart. So nice to meet you. Thank you for doing this. Oh, does she have a coffee drink, Kristen Stewart? Oh yeah. Oh, what kind of coffee is, is it? Or is, is it a shake? Is, cute is it green? No. No, there's uh, little flowers on this cup. Uh, there oh, there you cute. go. What's uh -huh. you, you know what I was thinking about this, Kristen? Walk us through your coffee routine in the morning, if you will, real quick. What, what's your what's your go-to? I'm so into the start of this. Yeah, <laughs> great. Yeah, don't <laughs> worry. This will not be hard hitting at all. Yeah. <laughs> it's a bunch of garbage. Um, no, coffee is like uh, only something that I kind of recently got into. I never used to really? have any morning beverages. I just would barrel through and then I realized how fun it was. Oh yeah, a little stimulant. So what do you so do you, so do you would you wake up and go immediately downstairs to make or wherever into the kitchen and make coffee or do you have a gap and ha what and what kind of coffee do you make? I am very interested in this process. So for a while I would like try and make espresso. Uh, but I'm mm -hmm. not good at it. All of my poles are watery and weird and yeah. 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 First thing in the morning too, you you don't have skills. I'm 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 kind of a 
being out of bed. Like, I need to be quiet in order to not kind of, like, infuriate my family. What do you mean you take when oh, you really? get up? Oh, really? Because when you wake up, you're ready to go. Yeah. Yeah, I can wake really? up having, like, a full conversation. Be like, oh, hey, what's up? What have you been doing? What have you been thinking about? Oh, wait, I'm still like, oh, my God, my wife's exactly like that. Kristen, I'm, I'm like that, too. That. I'm, I'm very much like I'm that. I'm not like that. Uh, Sean, well, Sean, let's not get into your sleep hygiene. It's a fucking oh, disaster. Oh, it's yeah. worse than your heart. <laughs> You got to um, get out of your bed. You got to go downstairs. You got to get in your car, drive over to where Scotty lives. <laughs> um, I'm, I've, got, I've got the coffee maker that you can program the night before. So you wake up and it's already a full pot of coffee. So it's, it's, it's grump and idiot proof. Right? Is it just, just regular coffee, JB? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's just right. So I, I got it. I don't know when, maybe two years ago. And I thought about it this morning. I was like, fuck, I'm such a creature of habit. I never deviate, no matter where I am. I go downstairs, I turn on the kettle, then I fire up the Nespresso machine, and I, I make two, a double Nespresso, a little, little bit of brown sugar, and, uh, and then I pour in, hot, so I do Americano style. Oh, yeah, I was going to say, what's the, what's the kettle for? Yeah, and then, uh, and so a little hot water. Just and then, so it uh, looks like country and... No, 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 because... <laughs> uh, no, just because, I, I don't know, Nespresso's made it so easy. I don't know if you've tried Nespresso... Uh, I mean, uh, instead of trying to make espresso, an espresso Bear with him, Christian. Good. He's looking for a free machine. I'm just not. Indulge <laughs> I'm, I'm not. I don't need... I got 160 Say bucks. Say Nespresso one more time. You'll get one. I got 160 <laughs> bucks. No, I'm not... By the way, Clooney owns part of Nespresso, I think. So, yeah. like, I'm not going to give Clooney any more dough. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but, anyway, uh, that is my process. Hi, Chris. Anyway, hi, Kristen Let's Stewart. Let's the guest talk, huh? I know. I know. I'm sorry. Kristen, where are you today? Uh, I'm home. I'm in LA. Got in it. Los Angeles. Yeah. Did you grow did you grow up out in LA? I did actually. Yeah, I was born. I'm like I'm my first house that I ever lived in was like in Topanga, like at the base of Topanga. No way. On the valley side or the beach side? Valley side, obviously. Oh really? That's that's <laughs> yeah. literally that's right where I grew up. I grew up like so you know Gary's market there on the corner of Dumets and Topanga. Oh my god, you freak. My house oh, is yeah. next door. I no literally way. my my backyard, like my fence overlooked the like parking lot, and I would always like peek through the yeah. I mean the gate and be like, I'm spying on people. Uh, that was my that was my loop with my bike. I lived in a house between Dumets and Canoga, um, or sorry, between Topang and Canoga <sighs> on Dumets, like till that I was 15, crazy. 16. This is, sounds like a Tom Petty song. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is, so we're Woodland Hills Whoa. kids. See, the yeah, valley's not a, that bad. I, I'm I take great pride actually. I like being a little scumbag who. Literally, yeah. like, gets high off the smell of a Seven Eleven. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. There was an old van JB, store. Right this, there. I just, you should. I just saw JB's face, Kristen. You just made him so happy because he used to yeah. tell stories about being in Woodland Hills with his skateboard on the bus, right? Yeah, JB? and I would, yeah. and, and I would live in the Seven Eleven store. I learned, I learned how to play Pac Man, Asteroids, everything in there. I, I just that. live in there all day long. Little Hostess, you know, cakes. Oh my and, god, cute. what was it like growing up, Chris? Like, was it were, were you like Jay? Did you have a skateboard? Did you play video games? What was? Did you have siblings? All of those things. Yeah. All three of them. Yeah. I would wow. sit outside of my brother's room and watch him play video games until he would like let me <laughs> yeah, enter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> really? I did you go to school out there? Did you go to um, Serenia or Parkman or oh, Taft? What the f or? This is so weird. I feel like no. I feel like you talk about the valley, but it's always it's a big place, you know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I went to Serenia Elementary School and I walked there every day. That's, <laughs> That's where I went to grade school until yeah. sixth grade. That's you guys, so cool. guys, guess what else? You were both child actors. What? Something in the water out there. Yeah. I'm telling you. <laughs> I, I, want, I wanted to get to this because I love, I love, because JB obviously started when, I don't know, God, you were what, seven or something, Ten. JB? Ten. Yeah. And so, Me like, too. You, so there you really? go. So he always understands Amazing. this, that experience. Talk, let's talk a little bit about that, JB. <laughs> let's talk about first jobs. A first job, Little House in the Prairie. Did you, did you have to, did your parents drive you to like a million auditions over the hill? Yeah. And yeah, so I just grew up on the Ventura Freeway, you know, lots of traffic on the way. And, but that's, I learned how to drive. I paid attention with freeway driving, how to, how to merge late. You know, you got to <laughs> skip the line. Um, and then when they weren't able to drive me into the city, I'd have to get on the bus there on Ventura Boulevard, stop every single red light. All it would take me an hour and a half to get in the city, but I have my skateboard and my little headshot in my little manila envelope. And I'd get off at like Hollywood and Highland and skateboard the rest of the way. And, yeah. um, you know, but it, it's for the passion, you know, Kristen, just the passion of the <laughs> of the of the craft. From jump, you just been a passionate young man. <laughs> was it, was that your experience too? Like you going with your folks to audition? Because your parents were 
both worked in uh, entertainment as well, right? Yeah, my mom really hooked me up because she's she was a script supervisor, and so if she wasn't um, on a movie, she would be the guy taking me around, which is a total no bitch. It's just constant and like yeah. And you wanted you wanted it though. You wanted to be an actor, yeah. No, she was forcing me into it. <laughs> <laughs> I was begging. I was. I was begging her. Yeah, I was. Like, you will contribute to the bottom line of this house. <laughs> yeah. um, so for Tracy, the script supervisor is the is the person who keeps her eye on the script, makes sure the actors say the lines correctly, uh, helps the director and the camera department with screen direction, and if things match, etc. Like if you're using your left hand to pick up the glass in all you know first three takes, and then the, the next take you pick it up with your right hand. That's not going to cut so she'll say so are you did you grow up being incredible at continuity like would you always match your action mm -hmm. <clears throat> no I, no i think it's sort of the opposite where i was always like that shit doesn't matter really <laughs> yeah it was like if that's what you're paying attention to then you're really <laughs> not doing your job right it's that yeah. we got bigger problems yeah. yeah um no i would drive her crazy we've never worked together oh you guys haven't oh wow. you haven't mm -mm. huh what dad do wow a uh, stage manager. So he did like he he did TV, which we always gave him like a bunch of crap for because we were pretentious movie people. So stage manager, so multicam for like studio audience shows. Yeah, he was like yeah, super into the kind of he he always told us that making movies was like watching paint dry. Oh yeah, because it's boring and takes forever. And he's like running the variety shows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, did he ever do any sitcoms? Would I have worked with him? Because I did a bunch of those back then. I feel like he did mainly like. Game shows like Fear Factor, a lot of like right. award shows, and also yeah, talk yeah. shows. Like I bet you've worked with him a lot, but yeah. like not on anything long. You know what I mean? Like right. you've probably been on shows that he's worked on. Uh -huh. um, are they excited for you? I mean, it's, your your success is not new. Were they excited for you? Are they, or was it just like, yeah, we're all in the business. It just kind of just happens. Uh, no, I they they were stoked and tri yeah. tripping on it. Yeah, my dad is, but both in very different ways and kind of like reflective of both of their vocations. Like, I think as script supervisor is a department of one and that's always like a freak. Right. <laughs> my mom's like not yeah. very social and like does her own thing and is like a weird They're always like, my favorite people on the set though. I know yeah, me too. I know me yeah. too. Well, yeah. they're either like the best or the worst where you're just like, oh, she's gonna like, she's a stickler. She's gonna kill me. Or you're like that, that you know, yeah. the keeper of, yeah. or you just want to impress them. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. With the way you match your action, but you, you said, yeah, like, do you see that it was perfect? We only had to do it three times. Oh. Um, they must be super thrilled with the way you've been able to transition, though, from um, from being successful in childhood into uh, young adult and then into adult, because um, as you know, it just doesn't happen uh, that often. Yeah, it is weird. Yeah. I know my mom. Like uh, before, she was nice enough to cart me all over town. She was like, "Do you really want to do this?" Like. We have to pay all this money for headshots and, know. you know, you got to pay me back if this ever works out. And I was like, I will. And I, like, I remember her like looking in the rearview mirror being like, okay, well, I believe in you, but you have to believe in yourself. Like the yes. most cliche cartoon version <laughs> of like the start of something. And I was like, trust in like me. Like a poster with a kitten saying, hang in there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. a bumper sticker. But it does, it <laughs> yeah. works though. That's great. Yeah, but she totally was like, oh no, I'm going to watch my kid. I can imagine now like, School is so scary. Being just a little guy in the world in every way is so scary. I can't imagine having a little kid and like at five years old, you have to be like, goodbye. Good for so many hours, you're gonna go off on your own and right. we're not gonna know what's going on and you're just gonna have to figure it out. Like even that totally freaks me out. And so the idea of my parents dealing with like me, you know, being like, you're a bad actor and you're and ugly. The adult pressure. <laughs> you don't get yeah. the job. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But also, yeah. like, I talk about this a lot too. Like, you and Jason have this where you're not, I imagine, in awe of, of things that I would be in, like having not grown up and wanting to be in the business when I was older. It's like, what, I still am in awe. Like, if I meet certain actors or celebrities or whatever, I'm just like, oh my God, I can't believe, like today, I can't believe I'm meeting Kristen Stewart. It's like crazy. It's like really cool. Where do you, were you desensitized to that? Like, for example, Panic Room, which I want to talk about. I love that movie. I've seen it 10 times. So and of course, I'm so gay. I, when, the, when the thing was over, I was like, a guy tried to Google, <laughs> where did they film that? I love that beautiful house. Like, <laughs> what a brownstone. Yeah. yeah. What brownstone was that? It was a set, right? I'm sure it was a set. It was like a fully functional brownstone built on a soundstage in Manhattan Beach. It was every outlet worked. It was mind blowing. It was like in a time where 
Well, I guess people do this. You just have to be like one of five men who are allowed to do it. But Fincher is one of those people and he just built... You, could, just you could have transplanted that. You could live in it. We should honestly see like where the pieces are. Let's build it. But all those walls were were were, were they were all, they could fly all those walls, right? Because all those intricate camera moves, they had to. I would imagine, right? The whole thing was like on hydraulics. I'll bet. Yeah, I mean, I think there were like also different. We had like five actual. I mean, I don't know if it was five, but we had like different panic rooms that were detached from the whole house. And then there was one embedded in the actual house that was like mm. totally practical. And then like, oh, wow. there was like, it, yeah. And then it was just the most elaborate playground for him. Sean, yeah, that's what you call when you, when you, when the, in the pantry, when you run out of Snickers, you call that the <laughs> panic, panic room, room right? right? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, but, but to my point, like when you, sh when you, first of all, got the part and then at, at such a young age, and then there's Jodie Foster, and you guys are like working together. To me, again, to me, I would have been like, "Oh my God, it's Jodie Foster." <laughs> but having grown up in the business, were you like, "Hey, Jodie, I'm Kristen. Here we go. This scene goes like this," and blah, blah blah. Were you desensitized to it? It was different, like because I, I was now being ta spoken to. It's like, um, yeah. I guess I grew up on movie sets like eating Snickers and stuff, but I wasn't mm -hmm. actually like in front of the camera and being like, hey, what's up? How's it going? What are we going to do now? Like right, it was, right. so that part was like, it, it was crazy that all of a sudden I was like part of the process because I grew up hanging out with my mom on set all the time. And that's kind of why I wanted, I mean, it is why I wanted to, to be there and to engage with it. I can't remember if I was starstruck. Like I wasn't, it, it was, I was like intimidated by just being, having yeah. to be like, okay, this is like a job and I have to be like, yeah, for sure, Jody, let's do this. Let's rehearse, let's block yeah, yeah. this scene. <laughs> right, right, right. Um, but it started off being someone else. But for you, was it like kind of like how it was for me where you, you, like, had I been older and understood all the adult responsibilities of rent and taxes and all that stuff, I, the, the stakes of auditions and the stakes of performing mm. well when it, when at work would be so much higher than uh, as, as kids, we were like, oh, this is great. Fuck, I get to take the day off from school and we're just kind of like playing around. And, and so the, the stakes were lower. It was more fun. And so therefore it wasn't quite as anxiety inducing. Yeah? Absolutely. I mean, I think I like grew into that. I think when I was, yeah, yeah you know, when you're little and you're just like, yeah, I can do this. And everyone yeah. else thinks I can. Well, my anxiety came later. How about for yeah, you? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> of course, uh, uh, it's not to be a weirdo, but that's definitely just comes with the hormonal surge of like, oh no, do I need to consider like having sex now right. and I have to consider and you're like well now my life's complete I'm debilitated <laughs> like, uh -huh. we're yeah, life's over <laughs> yeah. Yeah. but JB what, what age was it JB that you because you also had the thing when you were a kid of like providing so like doing the work was a way of right of contributing yeah, I mean, it was difficult because my parents were also uh, in a position of manager in my career and also in my sister's career. And so they were being compensated for that but from us as well. And so that got complicated because the, those monies went into, you know, rent and mortgage. And so if we're not working, that affects the bottom line for the household. Right. You know, but you didn't was, know about that. You weren't aware I of did. that when you were... I was keenly aware of it and it was fucking stressful. Oh. <laughs> because remember work permits? So what you, you were remember? just saying wasn't true. You did feel like... Well, it, eventually, sure. yeah. But what, at the start, though, at the start, it was all kind of fun and games. But then right. as I kind of got into like 14, 15, 16, 17, and school got harder and, um, you know, remember with work permits, you had every six months your work permit had to get renewed and yeah. they would renew your work permit based on your grades you had to hold at least a c average and that's not difficult but if you know you have to it becomes difficult especially right. when you're looking down the barrel of a midterm or a final exam where that's a huge percentage of your grade mm -hmm. and i know if i fail this test for some weird reason now I get fired off the show. All those people are out of work, and we got no money coming into the house. Like, did you find like, that it was hard to keep your grades up, uh, kind of dipping in and out of? Yeah, because I was really good at cheating. Because <laughs> you know, when you're on the set <laughs> doing school, it's only three hours yeah. a day. It's just you and the tutor, and you can kind of like, uh, yeah. you know, hide a bunch of notes. In college, right. I would be my eyes hurt from. Mm. I would be in those big lecture halls, and my eyes hurt from cheating because I would. My face would be forward, but my eyes would look at the paper next to my <laughs> And my eyes would just so much pain. So anyway, how are you? You you ruined your peripheral vision from cheating. Uh, so then, so then, Kristen, so then how old were you when you did the first of the Twilight films? Um, 17. 17. Oh, I mean, yeah. 
I, could, I, and talking to the extent of, quote, Jason, to the extent to which you're comfortable about, like, that process of being part of something that's so, such a global phenomenon and it instantly kind of, again, you've been working since you were a kid, you've been around it, but now you're part of something that is so known and so, like, it's it kind of... Yeah, now you're famous. Yeah, yeah. famous in a it way can't, that... can't can't go out and around. You know? But also, like, in a way that very few people experience, especially at that kind of rate... Yeah, that was, and also 17 is like the most awkward age ever. Yeah. It's, you're just yeah. now starting to be like, oh, I am a woman. And like, yeah, um, yeah I think, <clears throat> I think I always kind of like was super utilitarian about the job because my parents are crew and I was just like, yeah, I love this job. It's what I'm gonna do forever. I'm gonna make movies forever. And it's like, it's chill. And then that definitely made things different. Yeah. Yeah, I'll bet. But it was. I mean, we had it. We had kind of like a cool, insulated. Like when people ask me about like my high school years or like my college years, which I didn't do either of, because I'm an idiot. Same. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but <laughs> me um, too. Uh, that's like the period of time that I think about, and so it's so weird because it it doesn't feel like I'm referencing myself. Like I f I feel like um, really talking about a different time. It's like it's yeah. hard for me to relate to that. It's like so personal I don't see it from the outside I'm like well I was going through like it's just so fucking weird to do everything personal publicly yeah it's like yeah, oh yeah, you yeah, know yeah. who I was dating you know exactly what happened right <laughs> yeah. right 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 it's like me saying where do you live and you're like oh unfortunately everybody knows where right. I live like yeah. it's like are you guys asked about your first like partners right uh, every time you do an interview about like uh, obviously right. like the series comes up it's where i come from it's like oh well what about that and you're like yeah it's crazy that people are still asking me about that first dude well you know right. I mean? yeah you know i i didn't i didn't have that and i didn't go to college either and, and, my and i'm of, the dummy that has like now i want to ask who is the dude like no, i have no, no idea about <laughs> I, I don't either by the way well you know the like it's the, the proverbial dude like right right, yeah, right, right. Dude is. but it seems yeah. like you all you guys in there were all like it was such a phenomenon i as i remember I apologize, I have not seen them. They, everybody got famous really fast. It must have been comforting that you guys each had each other yeah. to kind of go through it with and you could uh, kind of lean on one another because I seem to remember you guys all got sort of an equal level of fame um, and you could kind of go through it together. I would imagine that, that was, there was some sort of comfort in that. Yeah, Ish. totally. I yeah. mean, like, <laughs> we were all so different. I don't know, I think about that, I'm like... Like the first picture that I ever saw of myself in a um, like newspaper was in the post. Mm. It sounds like so old school too. It's like we open the post and there you are on the cover smoking mm. weed with your dog. And this is like my yeah. boyfriend's <laughs> family. And they're like from Staten Island and they're like, what's going on here? And I was like, oh, what is going on here? <laughs> like the movie wasn't even out yet. I didn't, oh, I'd never been geez. photographed by a paparazzi in my life. I was like, oh. been acting since I was 10 years old and was like, what the hell? And and then like we were, uh, I got in trouble and I was like, oh, I think this is going to ruin everything. I'm so sorry. And now weed's legal and everything was fine. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I just thought that was such a big deal. Was there a moment there where you considered like it, things would be so, this was fun, but things would be so much easier if I got back to anonymity. I'm still young enough where I can go to college. I can study another mm -hmm. career. I, I, I went through that. I was like, is this worth it? And can I sustain a level of success and and income, um, and I doing can get it. all the way to the finish line? Because I got to decide that makes now. It worth these, it. Yeah, these are the years for college. So, mm -hmm. I, like, there was. Did you go through any of that? I have to say, I felt like at, at the time that I could have like redirected energy and like become become an academic. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. I was so hungry for more work because, like, the Twilight series itself took forever. Like, it was, we did it over, oh, like, a four-year period. We made five movies. It's probably more than four years, by the way. Like, oh 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Like, those, ugh, I wanted to make other movies at the same time so badly. Yeah. Um, I just sort of crashed and burned and barreled my way through those years and just like was really like lacked any balance i was just like i was just working constantly singularly or, focused yeah yeah and you had like, your eyes on the end of that tunnel when you're done with your obligation on the franchise you could start doing other movies that were a little bit more exciting to you 
Well, I kind of, we all kind of, if, if we were able to, like, tried to, like, slam one in in between. And yeah. so that was why it was kind of, like, such a loaded period. Because we were, like, pr- either promoting one of these movies, making one of these movies, or trying to shove in something that right. gave you some, like, variation. Mm-hmm. And not in terms of what it, like, was like for other people, but just so you could, like do something other than play that one part for fucking six years. <laughs> but then, but then at the, at the tail end of that, did you find yourself like, the, was, was there sort of a moment of like relief or just like, it, I'm sure it was a great experience. I don't mean in that sense. I just mean that like just the absolute kind of, you know, making five films in four years and all, everything that comes with that and all the exterior pressures and all the, did you find that moment of like, fuck, where you could just kind of exhale and kind of take a second? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I bet. And then the great news is that you did start to make, you know, films that were not to disparage those those films at all, but films that were very, very different. And it seems a little bit more on your sort of artistic uh, ideals and 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 tastes, for lack of better phrases. I mean, um, like your career is just like really. It's incredible, especially Spencer. You, I thought you were just incredible. I know, so, Absolutely so, incredible. so good. I, oh, I couldn't agree more. So Unbelievable. Nice to um, say all that. Thanks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, truly, I mean, you're thought of as just one of our great actors, you know, and like that's like not a lot of people come out of, you know, uh, franchises like that and then get the kind of credibility that 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 you have earned. Um, and so it's just, it's just, it's awesome. Well, it feels like, Kristen, like you've had kind of like three careers in such a, sh- or like four, like you've had, you've done so many different things and now you've got this new film coming out that look, like I said, I obviously haven't seen it yet. It was just I at can't Sundance, wait to see it. right? Uh, how was the reception at Sundance? It must've been awesome. Uh, it was really fun. It was cool. Yeah. Cause I hadn't done like a, I think we, <clears throat> what was called like a midnight screening. And um, I was nervous because I fall asleep in movies past 7 p.m. like no matter what. And I was like, we have to screen our movie. Like everyone's going to be sleepy and sick and like yeah. altitude sick. And like yeah. it was just like a cesspool. Everyone's just caught. I was just like, this is not the time to screen the movie. But it was like, it was like, uh, like a real, a rumpus room. I just couldn't believe it. I was like, everyone is like fully engaged and like standing up and clapping during parts of the movie. I was like, this is, I haven't oh, wow. fucking hung out in, in a theater in this way in forever. So what do you, what, what's the kind of stuff that you do look for now? Because you have, like you are kind of doing lots of different kinds of films. And w- so as you kind of think about what, what's, you know, you know, the things that, that, that attract you, the things that, that excite you in terms of filming, like what, what are the, like what, what are the things that are out there? You're like, fuck, I want to do that. Yeah. Uh, it's so hard to answer that all the time. You know what I mean? Like, especially yeah. as an actor, you're like, you know it when you see it and then you feel like a crazy person because you just like do anything to make it happen. But then before you see it, you're just sort of floating in this liminal, like, I want to want something. Yeah. Um, right. But I, but we're kind of starting to, <clears throat> I'm really gunning. I mean, like, you know, it's not the first I've mentioned it. I've been sort of like sending out this like siren song about wanting to make this movie. Um, based on one of my favorite books. And I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure at some point in the next like week or two, it's going to be something that I can say, I am doing this and we are going to make this now because we have monies to do so. But okay. it's so hard to get so monies we'll for back. small movies. Yeah. 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 Is this, but this is not the film you're directing though, right? This is different from the film that you're directing? This is the one I'm trying to direct. This yeah. is the one you're trying to direct. Okay, so you have talked about it. This is, uh, this is Chronology of Water. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's okay. Been a long time. Um, and would that be the first film that you direct? Yeah. First feature. Oh. Yeah, first feature. Oh my God, how exciting. I was going to get to that, JB, because both of you guys, again, you, there's a similarity. You, you grew up in it, and you were around it, your parents were in it, and your mom's a script supervisor, and you've made a load of films and done it really well. It makes sense that you would want to direct. Or you, I mean, for what what is the draw, um, Kristen? Like, do you are you attracted to the cor- sort of uh, holistic sort of four corners? You know, you got to do it all kind of thing, as opposed to just the just the acting lane and 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 playing a character. Because that, that's kind of was the draw for me, and, and more interface with the crew. I feel like on on movies that I really love making, I. Um, you get to be a part of the crew and like directors that let you into that process. Mm. It's like, it's not, it doesn't always happen, but sometimes you're sort of like, we're all making this. Right. Even though there's like clearly somebody who spearheads and like, obviously 
the perspective that's being maintained comes from a, a singular place, it still feels like everyone's hand is in a balanced way supporting like the weight of that. And so like, as an actor, I always feel like the director's in the scene with me, or at least, or I don't always, but when it's good, I feel like we've done it. I don't know, like there, there's an exchange and I, yeah. I just want to step onto the other side of it and be like, it's the same, it's not the same job. There's an element of it that's sort of like kickstarting someone's engine. And I just know I will be so good at that. Like, I just know how to get people going and, and, and like, or not people, oh, I know how to get people going. I mean, like actor, like if, if no, you're doing you anything mean. real, it yeah. happens and you can do that while not being on camera. And I just can't wait to sort of like take care of someone and sort of set them on a path. I'm thinking about one person in particular and one movie in particular now. So I just like, I want so badly to just like preserve this path that this girl is on. And I want to see what she does with all of my ideas. I want to see how she makes them better. I want to like, mm. I, I just want to, I want to know how to look at things. I want to, I'm always, I'm always thinking like the camera should be in a different place. I'm like, you're not seeing yeah. this. Trust me. I know I'm not being received. Like I just, I can't wait to put something together from the very bottom to the top and just. And have a, have a plan and communicate that plan to a team and mm. be a motivator and just, I got you guys. Here's what mm -hmm. we're going to do. And just maybe trust me if you're not seeing it, you will. And like, mm. are you, are you like that in other parts of your life? Like, um, are you are you the one that comes up with the great idea for where where we're gonna throw the party or where or where we're gonna go mm -hmm. to dinner and who should be at the dinner where they should sit like mm -hmm. are you a good planner like that? Type A. Yeah, I'm like a total control freak. I'm like if I could just mm -hmm. design everything all the time. Truly, I, I have to I have to hold myself back from being like this is what everyone should do. <laughs> you know, like yeah, that. I feel but I feel like that control the control freak. I know you're kind of you're being is sort of self effacing there, but it it does kind of get a bad rap. There, it's it's we have to come up with a better term than control yeah, freak because it's such a, such a pejorative when really well, you're it's like, like a fucking rebel rouser. You're like manifester. you're like somebody who's like let's yeah, go, yeah, man. Yeah. Like let's right. like follow me. I got me. an idea. You're gonna love. What's your like, sign? Check this out. Out. I'm a Capricorn. Oh, oh yeah. Which which is not great for collaboration, but I'm working on it. <laughs> <laughs> I recently was I was like um I was hitting I was I was at do you guys does anyone play golf? You guys seem like golf. Oh my yeah. god. Oh yeah. hell yeah, let's w go. Will and I have a sickness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Me too, you? but it's so fun. I'm I'm like fully really? my I totally fucked up my ring finger because there's this like bump on it that I hate so much, but it's not gonna go anywhere. Fucking wet. What are you Hang talking on. about? What are you talking about? Are You're you serious? A golfer? I have made a hole in motherfucking one. Kristen Stewart, Jeez. we're making Gosh. news today. This is crazy. I've never had a hole in one. I hate you. I've been playing. Jason for, shot a seventy. It's not fair. Jason shot a seventy last week. A one under. It was. Oh, I've never, yeah. I've never shot a par. I mean, I've on single holes, but I've never parred any course. Like not even the one that I'm, not even the one that I live next to. Which is weird. Like, it's like the Bermuda Triangle because I've like birdied, birdied, birdied and then just like fucking shit the bed and like ruined it. I'm just like, Wah! is this, are you Wait naturally gifted or have you, have you studied this? Have you taken lessons and? My dad taught me how to swing when I was little and then I didn't play until a pandemic and then so, I started yeah, playing that's all what the got time. Me that's what, that's what yeah. we did. That's and then, so wait, so you're out there at public courses there? You're going to like Wilson Harding and, and, and. Or, Balboa? Or have you joined, yeah. Have you not? Oh, oh my what God. Is that? She's showing Listener, us a... She's showing us the, 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 the seal crest. from the local public golf course. Yeah, the par three down the street. Let's as a it. tattoo on your forearm. You are a badass. Wow, that is so... It's sick. big, too. I really went in. I was Me and my friends, like, finished up, and we had this great game, and we had a bunch of beers, and we were like, let's go. We're best friends. We'll be best friends forever. But honestly, these are my, like, best girls. Wow. But wait a second, you got that tattoo after a few beers? Because I was literally just scouting today a, a tattoo place here in the East Village. And I said to the guy, I said, what are, you, what are your hours usually? He goes, well, you know, you're supposed to stay up until about two in the morning, but they get too many drunks in here that want tattoos. And then they come back the next day and they say, hey, can you take this off? Where's the eraser? And so I start shutting down around seven or eight o'clock because you're not supposed to get a tattoo with a little buzz on. But you did. No, <clears throat> no, because it like thins your blood and you don't make, you know, Choice choices, but yeah. he was a friend of a friend, and he's an idiot, and so here uh -huh. we are. But I, I still like it. I don't know if I've made bad decisions at drinking. Let me think about it. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Kristen, I really want to play golf with you one day. I'm, oh, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a hold of you, and one day we're gonna, I'm gonna take you out to. 
JB's out of town. Christian, you can come play with me because I'm. He's not at the club right now, but I am. You yeah, can I'm going to play with golf till October. Well, after you guys golf, Chris and I heard. I read somewhere a while ago that you like cooking. I love cooking. Then, oh, then wait, after golf, Sean, we'll cook. you can't change the fucking. Why not? Subject. What else Hold. are we going to talk about? Golf for you? Swing the ball well, I just in the mission. You got to play golf tattoo, dude. You, you can't can... just hijack the conversation. Dude, you get really hungry playing golf. Like we yeah, de- we just have dinner. You after. do. That's what I'm saying. Chili burgers or whatever. Now you're speaking Sean's language. Have you just been? Have you just been playing the public courses, or have you? gone around to the, all the all the country clubs too i've been taken to like one or two really fancy courses yeah. it's a completely different vibe oh. it yeah, is yeah, right yeah, yeah. 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 there's, there's some good and some bad oh you don't yeah. like middle-aged white guys <laughs> um. i like you guys yeah, yeah. It's, it's but pervasively i will say sort of on the whole anyway that's so cool that's so 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 cool that you do that and we can't yeah. wait to play with you um Shawnee, a food question? Yeah. Yes. Um, so do you um, cook with butter or oil? <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Actually, it's very weird that you asked that because last night I made yeah. a Pomodoro and I used a bunch of butter and I was like, I know you're kind of a bit of a cheat, but if you like emulsify the shit out of it and it gets all frothy and amazing and you yeah. like miss it with this, yeah, and it was really incredible. But this morning I thought you could probably do that with olive oil and it would be yeah. just, it, it would be different, maybe less, Rich, rich, but you still could get that f- frothy kind of. Yeah. Right, Sean. Sean, does your does your chef agree? So, or do, I mean, do you agree? <laughs> it's all about that pasta water. But wait, why, why would one want to go with olive oil instead of butter? Because it's healthier or or different taste. Well, it's also a little more Italian to use oil than That's butter. That's the thing. Uh, because at least in America with the butter, Please, they take a one <laughs> coffee. I, I like the, the oil. The um, cheese also but wait, are you? <laughs> Are you, the Italian are, guy's also taking your coffee. And they also, they're smoking. <laughs> are you one of those people because of, of your self-described kind of, quote, control freak, like you said, do you cook for all your friends and, like, groups of people? Like, do you like to command the kitchen? Yeah. Yeah, you I do? did Thanksgiving this year. Oh, and, you um, did? <gasps> by yourself? How'd that go? Um, me and my girlfriend did it. Like, and then people brought stuff, and it was so annoying because we had, we were so inundated with food. Food and mine was like ours was really great, and then we had all these like dishes sort of muddying the waters, and I was like, "What is all this bullshit?" Yeah. Um, which is <laughs> in their shitty mean, pots and but... their tacky pans. <laughs> yeah. it, again, it's not control yeah. freak; it's dream maker. I think it's dream, dream maker. maker. <laughs> yeah, that's did right. Did you do? Did you do the turkey and everything? Yeah. I hear that's not easy. I have a. I fig- I really figured it out. You have yeah. to get it in pieces. Like I, to do the whole thing is is really difficult. But if you get it. In different pieces, and the like, the neck and backer. It's really gnarly yeah. to talk about meat in this way, but are like detached and get that dry brine gr- going, and so it's like mm-hmm. all encrusted. Mm-hmm. So you've done this before. Yeah. Wow. Now, how did you get the cooking bug? Did mom or dad cook when you were growing up? Uh, yeah, they did a bit. I'm just like I'm kind of a stoner, and I'm just really food obsessed. So like, you I, get a little snacky, and you want something nice. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. I like playing in the you. kitchen, but. Do you guys cook too? Yeah, well, I, I started baking because I started making started with a cheesecake, and I was like, I want because Great. I want really a piece good. of cheesecake. His cheesecake is so good, <laughs> by the way. And no, so no I'm joke. sitting there craving a piece of cheesecake. I'm like, well, why don't I just get off my ass and make it? Mm. So I just made it. It's so good because the chef didn't show up yet. She used to show up was about late. four or five. <laughs> <laughs> Sean's doing real well, Kristen. Real. Do you well. ever make shit? Sh- do you ever make shit food like Slappy Joe's? I make Slappy Joe's a lot too. <laughs> Yeah, I have like I'm definitely low, low and high. <laughs> you're just making fun of the slob. No, no, wait. You have low and high. Is that what you said? Yeah, like I like to be fan- fancy and also like you know scuzzy. Yeah. You go low and high. Yeah. Sc- yeah. We, we sloppy Joe scuzzy. How are you now? You know, Probably. Sean. Sean is in great shape. He's a beautiful man, super handsome, but he does have his little cookie pouch. Yeah, and and that's that that's from all of the 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 the, the fun food that that he eats. Baking. Why do you have no cookie pouch, Kristen? You, you you're talking I have like co- I have a cookie pouch. No, 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 very fit. I guess what I'm getting to is you don't have like a huge workout regimen that offsets. Like you don't work out so that you can eat. I mean, I have gotten as I've grown in into a reasonable adult who's not a total shit show. I yeah. actually do exercise <laughs> and like cook healthy food and yeah. try not to eat the meat and like. Right. I, I've, I've incorporated some, ex- it's like, I'm either eating Sloppy Joe's and like drinking cores and playing Los Feliz three times a day, or I am like working out constantly and like yeah, yeah. 
Cooking, right, and depriving yourself it. yummy stuff for a week or two. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm like, like or just too. more. I don't know. I, I kind of like going like all in on whatever I'm going in on. So like, me too. There's yeah. no great. What is your sign for Christ's sake? Aries. In fact, huh? I was recently at the golf course, and this dude that I see all the time there, who used to be an actor, he sent us a screenplay of his. Uh-oh. He's an older man. He's really, actually, he's super hot because he's like. He drives this lime green, like hand painted Honda, and like plays guitar out the back. <laughs> offered us a beer and a sock. I was like, no, a beer. Oh my God. But what are you doing? What yeah, he it? was like, you Wait. want one? Justin Wait. Thoreau was there. <laughs> That's crazy. And then he gave you a script, and you took it. <laughs> I gave him my email address. Yeah, I was like, you must what? send Jesus. this to me. <laughs> what? You're um, a good person. But he's cool, and he sent he like sang these songs to me and my friends about our signs, and mine was I, it's. I, Man, what is this guy? It's totally like Google. He's on YouTube. Um, is he? But he sang this song called I Am, I Am, I Am the Ram. And like all the verses are about like, I will lead the charge. And like, but also okay. how completely like, com- like fucking egotistical and like arrogant and like ridiculous and sort of like. <sighs> yeah, see, so you're not going to get people like that bothering you up at the country clubs. You know? That's the thing. This is like, I prefer yeah. this. We can hang out. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but it was like a really good, like he really got me and he really like nailed, he really like nailed all my attributes. And so, yeah, like the ram thing. It's, yeah. It is. A, I'm surprised. What's what's the animal for a Capricorn? A uh, goat, maybe? See, we have these like annoying horn. We're like these silly little animals with big horns. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't like yeah. it. Um, all right, uh, uh, we're going to let you go, but what is your uh, la- last meal you could have being a foodie if, if, the, if you had to call in one last meal? Is it a pizza? I think for me it would be fries and a pizza, I think. Would it be dessert? Christian, would it be like a dessert type thing or would it be like? No, I'd go pizza over. Yeah, I like the food more. Yeah. You like salt more than, more than, more than sugar? Primarily, I think so, yeah. But then sometimes you just get, yeah, sometimes I get a little crazy. Um, uh, <laughs> no, yeah, I would say probably pizza. I think maybe like. So like pizza, beer, golf, and then video games. That's a perfect Christmas yeah. tour day. You just need a van and you're all set. I'm not a, I'm not a gamer. I wish that I was. I'm jealous of people who are into sports and video what's games. Your, what's your, if you're not playing golf and you're, but you're drinking beer, what are you doing if you're not playing golf? Like, are you... Watching shitty TV, or are you? I like to play. I like to play pool and cook and golf and read and um, make movies, and that's it. Fuck. Yeah, that's it. By the way, that's plenty. That's pl- yeah. it's pretty good too. Yeah. It's a pretty, it's pretty I solid reading. lineup. Fuck. Know, you know, what, really? Yeah, it's really good. It's really really good. Sean, what's your last meal? What, what would spaghetti you all day long? Spaghetti. Yeah. No, like yeah, you're fucking you're, and vanilla the, ice cream. Christ, <laughs> drinking ice cream that really got me. <laughs> that was really funny. Uh, <laughs> oh, Christmas, Kristen. we kept you way too long. You're I mean, the greatest. You, you know, we, we don't deserve your time. What a pleasure. Yeah, seriously. I'm coming after you for some golf. Don't be shocked when I when I show up. Um, thank you guys for letting me hang out. You guys just all hang out and talk for an hour, and then you put it on the internet. That's yeah, such a weird nuts. thing to do. That's, that's <laughs> all we do. We do that with my friends. No, we'll talk yeah. about your. We'll talk about your movie too. We'll we'll say your movie again too. We, yeah. We're so bad about promoting. I can't wait. Oh, Did we get a date on it yet? Yeah. When is it? I actually Uh-oh. do know this. It is coming out on March eighth. March eighth. I think, or maybe that's me. It's coming out in the beginning of, of March. It's a spring release, y'all. Go yeah. see it. She's in it. It's She's Love Lies Bleeding. It's Kristen Stewart, the great Kristen Stewart. We don't do this often, but. We're gonna oh, give you that's a so nice. golf yeah. clap. Same to you. Really, we're gonna give you a yeah. golf clap. Uh, thank um, you, Kristen. So nice to meet you. Thank you for today. Thanks, Kristen. Okay, cool. You were yeah. you were great. You guys, thank you so much. That's awesome. yeah, that was really fun. Thank you. Yeah. And done. And done. Yeah. Well, great. The great Kristen great. Stewart. Great Kristen Unbelie- Stewart. I can't believe. Yeah. I just love that. You know, she's so. There's so much. Uh, I, I wish I had she's her so cool. her street she's so cool. cred, right? She's yeah, just, she's cool. She's, cool. Really like, she's happening. She's the cool. fact that she plays golf is just such a great sort of counterbalance to that. Like I think it gives golf a great name. You know, it's like yeah. because even you think golf cool is people, uncool. Well, it listen. It does not have a long history of being street creddy. Um, right. mm-hmm. So you get some cool person like her playing golf. It's great for the sport. I agree. Yeah. I agree. But at the same time, I will say this: like, who gives a shit? I wonder if she wants yeah, to go exactly. to the dinosaur. I mean, golf. Who cares what okay. people think? 
What? What's that? She goes, she's going to become the the new Dinah Shore. Of she's golf. the new Dinah Shore. What we got to do is we got to we got to convince her to come to one of these proams with us. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know, and we'll That'd be a we'll, great get. Yeah, well, and maybe on one of our golf trips. She seems like a super fun hang. Um, well, the AT and T uh, maybe gets the the celebs back maybe next year. Mr. Steve yeah. John, the great Steve John, the great Steve John. Um, we'll uh, we'll invite Kristen. Maybe yeah. that'll be. Uh, um, but, but, uh, and, and then on top of that, we forget the fact that she's like Academy Award nominated Cesar winning yeah. actress who's done yeah. like, she's done everything from like, it's very, it's not, not rare, but it's rarefied air of being somebody who's been part of like massive franchises and then done all these like really cool, uh, art house films, uh, you know, that have. Her co-star are, would be, would be one of the, one of the few that Robert Pattinson had, had, yeah. a, had a, a, a similar, um, similar thing. Yeah. Not fortunate because that that takes away from their talent. Um, but the the both of them were able to find some projects that you know facilitated post. that transition for them. Yeah, post mm -hmm. that, because like yeah. Downey, you could say, but Downey came into it with a huge you know body of work before he started getting into the Marvel stuff. So like you know, but really yeah. to start as a young actor and and, and come out of that kind Hunger of a Games machine. wasn't Gen didn't Jennifer Lawrence wasn't Jennifer she Lawrence. in Hunger Games yeah, yeah. Games, she yeah. transitioned well great so. Jennifer yeah, yeah. Lawrence you're right you're right all right so but there have been a few but, but it's, it's but still it, rare yeah you can't it's on one hand you should yeah. get her you should get her to play golf because you know here comes guys here it comes get Wait, ready why does here it comes like the end of the reading. episode Fucking no dude. no I'm not I'm just saying because you know when when Oh God, he can't. He, he's so proud of it. Go ahead. When golf, golfers sometimes yell that thing what? at the golf ball, right? Like an announcer will say, like, she's going to have to get this one to blank, right? If she's going to, right? Like when they hit the ball and it's in flight, they go, oh, got to bite, 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 bite. Okay. No, we will allow. I mean, not, Judges will allow. You think we'll allow that? Bye. Bite. No, I will say this. That particular one actually bites. <laughs> nice. Nice punch up, Willie. Bye, Bye everybody. Smart. 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 Less. Smartless is 100% organic and artisanally handcrafted by Michael Grant Terry, Rob Armjarv, in Bennett Barbaco. Smart. Less.